predictable system is a myth system failures are inevitable but you can be prepared for failures by building resilient systems we will explore chaos engineering as a way to do exactly that welcome my name is jaswinder in this video series we'll be looking at chaos engineering or chaos testing the agenda for this particular session is we will try to understand what chaos testing or engineering means how to perform chaos testing and what are some of the tools available to do exactly that right so chaos engineering or chaos testing is a site reliability engineering what we call sre technique that simulates unexpected system failures to test a system's behavior and recovery plan based on what is learned from these tests organizations design um, interventions and upgrades to strengthen their technology let's just have like a, a visual representation what i'm trying to say and how to do the the chaos testing so first of all you observe the system and define normal behavior what is the 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 normal behavior of a system like you know when it's running with everything around it okay when i say everything around it typically nowadays i think i'm just going to focus on uh, and i'm going to assume that you have a microservice based um, architecture where you know uh, things are distributed your system or your application is kind of relying on several external um, you know um, middlewares uh, backends etc etc all right so as i said you observe the system and define its normal behavior then you create hypothesis okay what it means you create a hypothesis by saying what if this happens what if can be anything you know hard disk failure you lost connection with your oracle database or or postgres database jdbc you know got disconnected or let's say you have a kafka or you have a, some sort of other uh, you know message broker you got disconnectivity with it so you ask this question what if all right you then run an experiment you have a system running you try to do exactly that you you literally you know pull a cord of of your server then database is gone your hard disk is gone or whatever xyz is gone all right you analyze the data you see how your application is performing behaving when this particular thing happened you know that particular crash happened share and iterate you just keep doing that actually and how to perform chaos testing as i said i think what i said earlier let's just try to kind of now try to put into some practical terms you define steady state this is how my system runs it meets all the sls all right introduce chaos you can introduce chaos in in various shapes and forms i'll 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 go, go over that in a second you simulate a failure something like a network bottleneck disk fill or application crash for example yeah um verify the the steady state check if the system works as defined in step 1 also verify that the corresponding alerts were triggered via maybe email sms text slack message phone you know um dynatrace etc etc after that you roll back the chaos the most crucial step especially um, while running in production is to roll back or stop the chaos that we introduce and ensure that the system returns to normal state this is very very important right um not only simulating a failure but when you stop the the failure when when the things have come back can your application recover from that chaos from that failure okay is your application resilient enough that it can handle these failures you lost database connection is your application going to crash or your application will stop kind of you know uh, functioning for the time being it will start generating all sort of alerts but as soon as database is come come back database has come back after a few seconds minutes can your application reconnect okay can you go back to the normal state um the most common problems that um, every application suffers are like you know cpu or 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 like you know memory spike network latency time change during daylight saving time for example okay reduced disk space you're filling too quickly too much yeah and application crashes 
So the first step would be to make the infrastructure resilient. Of course, you know, infrastructure has to be resilient uh, to overcome these, these kind of, you know, disasters. And then your application has to be resilient. Let's have a quick look at like, you know, a list of tools which um, you can use to create um, chaos testing or to, to test, um, to do chaos testing or chaos engineering. You can write manual, manual scripts. What I mean by manual scripts, you write a manual script, which basically, um, I don't know, issues some sort of shutdown to your database, to, to your middlewares, or it actually shuts down uh, some sort of service which your application relies on, right? So you can write these these little little scripts like you now they can they can go and they can shut down they can kill kill the things. Okay, it can be a very basic like you know shell script, DOS script, Perl, Python, whatever. Okay, it can just go, maybe crash or kill kill the kill kill your system. Maybe it can it can fill the disk space as well, right? You you write a, a script which just just writing spam right foo like you know junk into some sort of file system and then you can simulate disk fill up okay disk failure type of scenarios there is a commercial product which which is kind of industry leader called uh, gremlin um obviously you need license to to try gremlin but it's really really powerful it's it's for kind of you know um res resiliency testing it's like chaos testing and all sort of you know good scenarios okay good tool but as I said, it's it's a it's a uh, it's a paid version. Um, there are a few um, open source offerings: Chaos Mesh, okay, Litmus Chaos, uh, Toxy Proxy, okay, um, and Chaos Monkey. Okay, I'm I'm sure I think Chaos Monkey is the one basically who started this 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 industry trend. Okay, Chaos Monkey was created by Netflix to, because they wanted to kind of test their services, wanted to make sure their application in cloud, especially they can they can recover. So what we will do uh, in, in the upcoming video, we'll look at one of these tools, okay? We'll try to basically um, learn how to use these tools and how you can create kind of chaos um, in, in your environment and you can perform these testings. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.